Okay, next how about we try a problem that uh, does not have a picture drawn for us. So we're going to have to draw our own picture for this one. It says a ranger spots a fire from a 73 foot tower in Yellowstone National Park. She measures the angle of depression to be 1 degree 20 minutes. How far is the fire from the tower? So let's try and draw this. We've got a ranger tower. So I don't know, there's our ranger sitting in our tower. And out here, I suppose we can change colors. Okay, we've got our fire out here. Um, she measures the angle of depression to that tower, or from the tower to the fire. And so this angle of depression right inside of here, this is not drawn to scale. This angle of depression is um, 1 degree 20 minutes. 20 minutes is um, one third of an hour. So this would be like 1 and 1 third degrees. In other words, this is 4 thirds degrees. I don't want to use decimals when I have to round the decimals, so we'll you just keep it as a fraction. Uh, I know that the tower here that she's on top of is 73 feet. The question is, how far is the tower from the fire? What's that distance? Okay, a couple ways we could do this. Um, I need an angle inside the triangle that's not the 90. So either you find the difference between 90 and 4 thirds and use that here, or you could use 4 thirds right there. They would be the same. They're alternate interior angles. Um, so geometry tells us those are going to be the same. Alright, so setting it up down here, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent, so I would say tangent of four thirds of a degree is equal to the opposite 73 divided by the adjacent x. Adjacent. Okay, solving this is a two-step equation whenever the x is in the denominator. Multiply the x out. That gives us x times the tan of 4 thirds equals 73. We divide both sides by the tan of 4 thirds. And so on the calculator, we're ready to go now. Uh, x equals 73 divided by tan of 4 thirds. 3,136.4 feet. Okay, this next example, uh, a barn roof is constructed as shown in the figure. What is the height of the vertical center span? So we're after that right there. And let's just pull out one half of that roof. That's 15 degrees. If the entire thing is 73 uh, all the way across, um, this is 73 halves, which if you want to use a decimal, you could say it's 36.5 feet. And we're after that height there. So we could say, again, it's a tangent ratio. We could say tan of 15 degrees equals the opposite x over 36.5. Solve this by multiplying both sides by 36.5. And the x equals from the calculator we get 9.78 units are feet. Okay, the last example it says a shoreline runs north south and a boat is due east of the shoreline. 
The bearings of the boat from two points on the shore are 110 degrees and 100 degrees. Assume the two points are 550 feet apart. How far is the boat from the shore? So let's see, it would appear that we are trying to find that distance right there. Well, let's see, what can we do? <clears throat> there are two right triangles here. Um, I'm going to draw them both out here. I'll do them in different color. The first one. Okay, so um, let's see. In our diagram, we're trying to find this distance. We'll just call it D. Um, there's this other distance right here that we don't know. Let's call it X. Okay, so in this top triangle, this length here is X plus 550. Um, let's see, as far as the angle goes, um, this angle is 110. That means the angle inside of here is 180 minus 110. So this angle, 70 degrees. Okay, for the bottom triangle, this is X. Let's put D there. Uh, this angle is 100, which makes this 180 minus 100 which makes this 80 degrees. Let's throw the D there. Okay, so yeah, it would appear that if I knew the X, well then I could do a tangent ratio right here and I could solve for the D. Problem is I don't know the X. Um, so we're gonna kinda use both triangles together, make a, a system of equations and attempt to, to solve for the X. Okay, the top triangle would say that the tan of 70 degrees equals opposite D over adjacent X plus 550. Or that D equals X plus 550 times the tan of 70 degrees. Okay, the bottom triangle would tell me that the tan of 80 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So D equals X tan 80. Well, D is a common length on both of these triangles. So therefore, this D is equivalent to this D. Therefore, this expression is equivalent to this expression. And that's where we're going to go next. We're going to set those two uh, expressions equal to each other. All right, let me get on another sheet of paper to do this work so we've got some space to do it. Okay, so I'm going to set X plus 550 tan of 70 equal to x tan of 80 to solve this equation for x. Um, I'm going to distribute the tan of 70. If I distribute, I'll get rid of the parentheses. So we'll have x tan 70 plus 550 tan 70 equals x tan 80. Now I want to get all my x's to the same side of the equal sign, so I'm going to subtract x tan 70 from both sides. 
Okay, so I'm left with 550 tan 70 equals x tan 80 minus x tan 70. Okay, well the x is in both terms. It's a common factor. I can rewrite this the right hand side as x times the quantity tan 80 minus tan 70. I just pulled the x out of each. Okay, Redistribute, you get the same thing. And then I can divide by that quantity. Um, I'm ready to go to the calculator now and type all this in. Um, you do need to be a little careful on the calculator with the use of parentheses all on the right spot. So just be wary of that. And if you don't get the same answer I get, then try it again with possibly more parentheses. Okay, there's my length for x, 469.8 feet. Um, now I'm going to bring back from the other slide, you should probably still have it written down, uh, we had a, an equation written down in purple that said d equals x times the tan of 80 degrees. We now know what x is, so therefore d is equal to that 469.8 times the tan of 80, and d, the value that I want, is equal to 2,664.4 feet.